Shares of Shift 4 are soaring today. The company reporting Q3 results, beating profit estimates, growing more than 80% year over year. But in a letter to shareholders, CEO and founder Jared Isaacman wrote about the pitfalls of the public market, saying, quote, we are actively exploring strategic opportunities and alternatives that will reduce distractions and serve our company, employees, and shareholders best. Joining us now, Shift 4 Payment CEO Jared Isaacman. Jared, it's great to have you back on the show. Um, you did have another strong quarter in terms of your earnings. You continue to grow your top line by double-digit percentages. But it was that commentary in your shareholder letter that certainly got a lot of attention today. There had been some speculation that that might be the case. Uh, wa walk me through the disclosure today and how you're thinking about the possibility of strategic alternatives. Yeah, hey, thanks, Morgan, for having me back. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I think that's kind of uh, old news. I mean, I, I think the reaction today in the stock was much more about the results that we delivered and the outlook we gave for 2024 with our volume bridge. I mean, I, look, the, the fintech market has not been um, it's not been uh, treated very kindly for for probably a couple quarters right now. And and I think you know, despite Shift Four delivering results really superior to all our peers, we've been getting thrown out with the the rest of them. So I, I've been saying about our, our interest in exploring alternatives for, for probably two quarters right now. Certainly people knew that, you know, when we were trading at like 42 bucks a share last week, uh, I think the big difference you're seeing is that we delivered incredible results on across all, every, every KPI was a record and we expanded margins and free cash flow and set a good outlook for 2024. I think that's what you're seeing today. Yeah, let's talk about that outlook for 2024 because you closed the Fanaro acquisition. Um, and that is going to be one of those growth levers, this expansion that, that you have a foot into international markets. What does, what does this piece of the puzzle enable in terms of that growth? Yeah, so, so I mean, look, I, Ship 4 was started 24 years ago in my parents' basement when I was 16. Every single year for 24 years, we've grown revenue double digits through every downturn. And that's entirely within the United States, which is probably the most competitive payments market in the world. Now, after you know a 20-month process to close on Fenaro, we have payment rails that open up all of Europe, the UK, other markets in, in Asia Pacific. So now we can take the products and services that have worked for us really well in the US, so like our ability to support stadiums, restaurants, hotels, e-commerce, travel and leisure. And now we're going to be able to go into the to the European markets and other markets around the world on it. It's like a huge TAM expansion. Um, you know, from what we already know works really well in the U.S. into other markets. Okay. Looking here at this market, though, I mean, your competitors like Toast, Toast tanked today. Uh, that company talking about weaker macro. Are you seeing the same? No, but uh, we're also not pure play in restaurants like Toast. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, I mean, we certainly restaurants are like, call it a 30% or so of our, of our volume. We're in hotels uh, everywhere. Like that's why uh, probably our fastest growing vertical. Uh, you know, UPS stores are customer and retail. We, as you know, we do satellite broadband internet access. I mean, we are a really diversified company. So it, it's not like we're saying the macro is booming by any means. In fact, we called out generally uh, flat same store sales growths, but, but we don't have that, you know, kind of pure play concentration in restaurants as Toast does. Okay. Well, you, you did come out, though, last quarter and say you were going against junk fees, you, you know, that SkyTab, your restaurant um, point of sale solution, that you were going to go more aggressively after market share. Are you gaining it? Uh, we are. So, I mean, we reported uh, sequ sequential growth uh, in our, in our SkyTab um, installations this past quarter, which was already on a, a very high trajectory. And I, I think, like we, we've said for a while, you know, Toast is a great company. So is Shift 4. You know, at the end of the year, we're, we're both going to win a lot of new restaurants that are out there. I think the fact that, um, you know, we have a, you know, our total cost of ownership of our solution is, is, I'd say, meaningfully less than what Toast offers, just based on the analysis we put in our in our materials. We've got awesome employees, great distribution coverage that's out there. Uh, it, it's not hard to win when you got a good product and it's priced right. 